Miu Hasama, we are so grateful to have you here in Copenhagen, conducting the DR Big Band, and thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Is Miho Hasama a classical musician working with jazz mm -hmm. or the opposite? A jazz musician who wants to study classic music? I think, you know, uh, my role as a musician right now is it can be a bridge between classical music and a jazz music because I grew up with the um, uh, listening to or working on a lot of symphony music in the past, but now I mainly work on uh, jazz music theory or like aesthetic a lot mm. and I love both music and then uh, um, of course I like diverse music as well because I grew up with Beatles music mm. and then uh, my mother really liked uh, soul disco kind of music mm. so I still remember that the first record that I bought by myself was uh, Athens in the Fire best <laughs> best album or something like that so I really really take care of like what I like or what I'm not really interested in. And then for me, genre doesn't really matter. But mainly I studied classical music and jazz music. Mm -hmm. So if I were to choose category, you know, categories or anything, I would say I'd love to be a bridge of classical music mm -hmm. and jazz music. How do you get the musicians on board if you are when you stay there? That's a good question. <laughs> Um, yeah, as a, as a conductor, I always try to uh, make the band as comfortable as possible. So to, to be able to do so, I think I need to know the level of the musician and then also kind of personality of the, the band members as well. So having said that, I think my personality and then a part of my personality coming from Japan is a very helpful because I have a tendency to try to read between lines a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like being efficient. So I always try to see what people would think mm -hmm. or pa what people will think in the future if I were to do that or th this or something like that. How would you describe the DR Big Band? It's about love for me. Um, I can feel a lot of love from the DR Big Band members and they love each other and that they respect each other. And then when they will come to me two years ago, uh, they did a flash mob at the uh, airport, which I've never heard of that experience before. And uh, I, did, I had no idea what was gonna happen. And then that I felt so much love from them. They took so much time to prepare that and uh, they are always dedicated to the music. They're always so enthusiastic about new projects and then open about something new. Their dedication and then their love towards music is so precious. And then I really appreciate that and then I feel that. And that's something very special that I always feel from the R Big Band. So um, I take that very, very seriously and then I'd love to give love back to them. And then I'd like to dedicate my love and then my dedication to the music and then my you know, passion to the music towards the R Big Band as well. I think it's coming the other way as well. That'd be great. <laughs> That'd be <laughs> awesome, yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, for thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>